Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Let's get into the Jocelyn Hernandez Carlos King interview. Let's go. First off, Jocelyn looked fantastic, right? She talked about how she got her start. She was dancing at Onyx and eventually she met Stevie J because she had told someone that she wanted to get into music. So they introduced her to Stevie J. So Carlos was like, you know, when did you start sleeping with him? She said like right after she met Mona Scott, she started sleeping with Stevie J. She said they had a good time and I believe it. Then Carlos was asking her like about Mimi and Stevie J in a possible three-person situation. She said she didn't know at first that Stevie J was with Mimi. She said she had heard about her, but even after she started messing around with Stevie J, she said she didn't care. Then Carlos asked her about the three-person situation, right? She said she was not gonna tell all of it, and it's gonna be in her book, but she said she's had better top. So Carlos talks about Jocelyn's work ethic on the set of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, right? And he talks about a scene that he wished that would have shown her and her stepdad and her mom. Um, Jocelyn becomes very emotional when she talks about how her mother failed her and also the type of mother she is to Bonnie Bella. She says she's not a perfect person, but she's a perfect mother. That's sweet. And then Carlos was saying how humble she was. like. When she got her first check from Love and Hip Hop, uh, she was very humble about it because that was the first time she ever had an actual check because everything she's done has been cash because she was a stripper. And she said she called herself the international superstar because that's how she felt. And she said the only thing her mother got right was bringing her into the world. Okay, Jocelyn. Then Carlos asked her what was her favorite scene that made her laugh. And she said it was the one where she walked in and told Mimi, Hey, maid, I see you got your maid outfit on like you always do. <laughs> but that wasn't even funny part. She turned it back on Carlos because she was like, I don't know, you might be a maid with your t-shirt on. <laughs> I don't know why Carlos got that tank top on. That's crazy. She talked about Carly Red. She said that... Carly Red was her biggest battle on the show because Carlos mentioned that maybe it was Mimi. And she said, no, she said, I think Carly Red was because she always had something to say. And if you really think about it, like she said, she liked Mimi. Like Mimi was just trying to figure what was going on between Stevie J and Jocelyn and what was going on with her and Stevie. So she didn't consider that to be, to be tough with Mimi. But she said Carly Red was really on her like that. And she was definitely on Carly Red. So then Carlos asked her, you know, like, do you remember how much you were making? She said the first week she went from making $1,500 an episode, the first week, to $11,000 an episode. When she came back for the second season, she said she was at $15,000. And by the end of the second season, she was making $20,000 an episode. And she said that... It wasn't a contract situation. They just kept giving her more money because they wanted her to keep coming back. And by the time she ended and left Love & Hip Hop, she was making $50,000 an episode. Like, what they said was she was the highest paid reality TV star in the business. That's crazy. So it appears that Jocelyn is really good with her business. She said that everything that she does now, she owns everything, right? And she also said that she is the highest paid reality TV star now. Now we will have to check that, but that's how she feels. And she said she decided to leave Love & Hip Hop because she wanted more. And she said she had just had her baby and she wanted more for her and her baby. And it worked out for her. She went on to say that with her cabaret show, Carlos had a lot to do with that. She called him after she left Love & Hip Hop and he said, are you free? She said, I'm free, free, give me two weeks. I got to get this contract stuff situated and I'm out. And she was like, people don't know that, but Carlos had a big hand in it. You know, he went to a dog park. He saw the dude that owns Zeus. He got him in touch with uh, Jocelyn. They went and took a meeting. He said Jocelyn ran the whole meeting. When the money came down, Carlos was like, it's all her. You know what I'm saying? And then she also made the statement that she made a phone call 
right? If you have friends who can put you in places, make a phone call. And if they're your true friends, they can help you. And this is what this situation is right here. Carlos always talks about how close he is to certain people. And this is definitely one of his good friends. And that's amazing, I think. Then he asked her, does she watch Love & Hip Hop? She said no. She said she does watch clips because she wants to check on her children from time to time because she birthed everybody on Love & Hip Hop. Like, that was hilarious. But she also said that some of the people shouldn't be on there. And she said people should take responsibility of their success and don't sit on Carlos's couch crying, talking about where they should be. She was like, you just need to get there. Hold on. They might not take the notes, but I teach. I'm a owner of something pretty phenomenal. A lot of people don't get the chance to say that. With your help, let me, my husband, Melissa, Melissa, certain people in my life, I've been able to do that. A lot of people can say that. A lot of people are going to sit on your couch cry about how big they think they should be or oh, I should be here or oh, I should be there. I'm not crying about none of that because if I want something, I'm going to get it. I'm not comparing myself to the next bitch. That bitch ain't me. I agree with Jocelyn a hundred percent in that matter. Like she goes out here and she makes it happen for herself. A lot of people do complain about a lot of stuff. Let's keep going. Then Carlos asks her about a couple of people that she may be surprised that are still on the show. He asked her about Carly Red. She said no because Carly wants the bag. But it's probably time for Carly to pass this torch to her daughter and let Carly be her daughter's manager. I think that makes sense. He mentioned K. Michelle. She said, I have no thoughts on that. Right? She just wishes her the best. That's all she can do. She has no thoughts on that. And then he asked about Cardi B at the end of the interview. So we'll hear that next week. So she didn't finish that. But it's the Rashida for me, right? She says she is shocked that Rashida is still on this show. She said because with everything Rashida's gone through, there is no way. And I could not agree more. But I'm going to let Jocelyn tell you about it because she can tell you better than I can. It's your girl Millie Chun. And we can talk about it. Bye, y'all. You surprised to see that Rashida is still on the show? Yes. Why? Because I think she's beyond. She's like past that. It's been. I. I hate to say that love and hip hop is beneath her, but it, I think it is. Like, if they tell me to come back to love and hip hop and do a couple of episodes, I'll probably go get a couple of dollars. But I'm not gonna be there every day, like making that my business and making them my storyline and making them my life. Honestly, bring years and, and age to her life. Beautiful woman, very smart. But sometimes you got to know when to say enough is enough. She don't have the man had a baby on her on camera. She don't went through so much. I would have went under the mother around and never came back up. At least let this bitch ass keep safe. If I'm a fuck with you, bitch, ain't nobody going to know. You can still be my husband in the dark, bitch. <laughs>